When we talk about the detection of electromagnetic waves, we imagine complex electronic equipment, and that is true today. However, many of the devices that were invented in the beginnings of radio technology are amazing because of their simplicity and ingenuity. A typical example is the coherer. In this video, we show you how to build and operate one. The coherer is nothing more than two metallic terminals with a space filled with iron fillings between them. In normal conditions, the iron fillings behave as an insulator, therefore the current can't flow from one terminal to the other. However, in the presence of an electromagnetic field, the iron fillings become a conductor and the current flows through the coherer. In order to make the coherer, we need a nail, a 4 inches nail. We also need a piece of thick plastic. And you have to cut the nail in two pieces. Once you have the two pieces, you have to grind one of the extremes of each piece in order to form a V shape like this. We will put the iron fillings inside this space. Take another nail and a piece of plastic which is about one inch wide and roll it over the nail in order to form a little tube that has an internal diameter that is exactly the diameter of the nail. Once you have the tube, put some tape in order to prevent unrolling. Now take one of the nail pieces and slide it inside the plastic tube at about half of the distance. Use more tape in order to fix it in place. Now take some iron fillings and pour them inside the plastic tube. You only need a little bit in order to fill the space between the two pieces of the nail. With the iron fillings in place, take the other piece of the nail and push it inside the tube until it touches the iron fillings. Then move it back just a tiny little bit. Then use more tape to fix it in place and your coherer is ready. Here we have the coherer circuit. In the presence of an electromagnetic wave, the waves flow through the antenna and the iron fillings inside the coherer go into the conductive state. Then the electricity can flow through the coherer and the LED will light up. After the coherer is in the conductive state, we can heat it gently in order for the iron fillings to become in the high resistance state. In the high resistance state, very little current can flow through the LED, and this will light very dimly. Here we can see the circuit assembled. We have the battery, which is connected to one of the extremes of the coherer and the antenna, then goes to the LED and back to the battery. The antenna is nothing more than a piece of copper wire, about 30 centimeters in length. As a source of electromagnetic waves, we will use a simple kitchen lighter. These lighters produce a spark when you pull the trigger. The spark has several thousand volts and emits electromagnetic waves which will be received by the antenna and the coherer will be activated. Ok, here we go. The electricity can now flow through the circuit and the LED turns on. In order to deactivate the coherer, we will heat it gently. The coherer is now in the high resistance state and the LED light is very dim because very little electricity can flow. One more time. 